Hello and welcome to my first ever series on YouTube in which I am going to be writing a book. So no, this is not clickbait. I am going to be writing a novel in the next 14 weeks. So this will be a 14 episode series with an episode coming out each week for the next 14 weeks. And in that time, I am determined to write a novel. So maybe asking yourself, where did you even get this idea? Where are you starting? Do you have any sort of experience or are you just an amateur who's throwing yourself in? Answers to most of those questions are vague, but I am gonna cover a few things in this video just to get us started on the right foot. So first, I'd like to define what I mean by writing a book. Standard book, at least in manuscript form, is no shorter than 50,000 words and no longer than 125,000 words. So I will be aiming to write a manuscript with a word count in between those ranges, so in between 50k and 125k words. I personally am going to aim for about 70k words this series, but we'll see how far I get. Maybe it'll be more, maybe it will be less. I'm planning on writing a fiction novel, so it will be, you know, kind of classic storytelling, creative writing, etc. And I will say this at the very beginning, I am not planning to share too many details about the actual plot or premise of the book, because I obviously don't have any, you know, way to protect that from being stolen so it's not patented it's not copyrighted and at this point i don't even think it counts as intellectual property so you know if i were to share in-depth details on here someone else could go write that book and completely you know get credit for it and there's nothing i could do so i'm not going to be sharing super intimate details about the novel but i will be giving you you know vague information and you know where it's set and different specific things about the plot but obviously the whole plot and you know, some of the details I will probably keep private. So I wanted to start with telling you guys about how I will be preparing prior to starting the writing process. So I have come up with a few things that I will be doing over the next day or two to help prepare me for next week when I'll be getting started writing. So the first thing I will do is research historical incidents related to the plot of the novel. So obviously one of the most important things when writing a book is creating something that is realistic and doesn't strike the reader as false or unresearched or generally improbable. So the first thing I will be doing is just lots of research related to the topic and the plot and the conflict and all of that. Then I have found a town that I'm going to base my fictional town off of. So what I've done is I've gone into Google Maps and actually, you know, use the drop person function and you can walk around these streets and that way I know I'll be presenting a pretty realistic small town in this region of the world. Next, I will be creating a Spotify playlist with what I like to call the right vibes. So personally, when I'm writing, especially creative writing, I really do well having music in the background, specifically movie soundtracks, because I think they're very conducive to keeping a plot running in your head. And personally, it helps me kind of be in that dramatic mood that I think writing sometimes requires. So I will definitely be creating a Spotify playlist to get me along this. And the last thing that I've actually kind of already done because I've written it down as these things have come into my head is writing down like a pretty basic plot, the characters, what's gonna happen, like basically a really, really broad outline of the book. So this idea actually came to me in a dream my freshman year of college and I woke up that morning and I was like, oh my gosh, that would make a really good book. So I wrote it down at the time and kind of forgot about it slash didn't really have time to put any energy into it. Then this year, this spring, I was kind of thinking about like, I really would like to give writing a book a try. And I remembered that I had this idea in my laptop and I feel like over the years since it came up in my brain, my brain's been kind of subconsciously working through it and developing it because when I went to actually go write down like the plot and my ideas, I felt like I had a lot to say, so that was really cool. So in addition to doing research, you know, for the novel about the location, the people, the plot, etc., I've also done a decent amount of research on how to write a book. So the actual mechanics and things that really have helped other writers create an environment in which it is conducive to truly write a whole book. So a lot of the things I will cite next I have gotten from masterclass.com. They have some publicly available articles, so I will link them in the description to obviously give them 
proper citation because this is information that I've gotten from some other posts. But first, there are things to consider prior to writing a book that are definitely important because if you don't consider these things, it may or may not be the right time for you to write a book. First thing is, do I slash you have the time and mental energy? So personally, this summer I am working full time in social media, so I do have the time and energy. However, once the semester starts and I'm still working full time in social media, but also a student, I won't have the time and energy. So that's why I'm doing this now. The second thing to consider before writing a book is, are you prepared to have your weaknesses exposed? So depending on how far you go in the writing process, you may or may not end up sending this manuscript to an editor or even letting family and friends read it for feedback. You're definitely going to get some feedback that you may not like or may find unflattering, and you might find that you have some weaknesses in some areas of your writing or your imagination. And so if you're not prepared for that criticism, or you're not feeling like you can take that at this season of your life, I think maybe it's not the best time to write a book, but personally I really appreciate criticism. I think it helps me become a better person, so I think I am prepared for any criticism or feedback that may come as a result of this process. The next thing obviously is do you know what you're going to write about? And as I said, I have a pretty in-depth idea of what I'm going to write about, but it obviously would be hard if you, you know you decide to write a book but you don't know what you're going to write about, that's a tough place to start so it's something to consider prior to starting. So those are the three things that I think it's really important to consider before writing a book but you know if you qualify all those criteria and I feel like I have then I started getting into the mechanics of how to actually successfully write a book. I have found some tips online to truly sitting down and writing a manuscript especially in a short period of time. 14 weeks is an incredibly short timeline to be writing an entire book um, so that obviously is going to require some discipline on my end. So the first tip I found was to create a consistent writing space. So a lot of sources that I read online said that having a singular space that you return to and write in can be very helpful because it helps you feel like you have a routine, you're, in, you're familiar with the environment so you're not getting distracted easily, and you want the environment that you choose as your regular space to be distraction free. So for some people it's the library, for some people it's a coffee shop, for some people it's their desk or their room or their you know, a study room in their university, but somewhere that you can return to consistently and that your mind can associate with the story you're writing and also just the process of writing in general. The next thing that I found was quite vital to creating a well done story in a short period of time was outlining. So as I mentioned before, I have outlined my story fairly all the way through. I actually haven't decided on the ending yet, but I have outlined it pretty much to the end and I think as I write and as these characters come to life I will have more of an idea of you know what the ending should be because I don't think there's one right ending for this story and I definitely want it to feel as natural to the progression of the story as possible. So the next tip that I found online is to stick to a regular writing schedule. So a lot of people say that if they set aside a certain time of day to write every day, it helps their mind kind of get in that rhythm and prevent things like writer's block, etc. So for me personally, I think I'm going to plan on writing for an hour every day from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's when I've noticed I have the most energy, I'm the most awake, and it's just generally a free point in my day. So, you know, obviously someday something will happen and I won't be able to be writing at that exact time, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm going to aim to be writing for that hour every single day. The last tip that I found was no matter what, finish your first draft. So, you know, as you're writing, I think a lot of things come up, including writer's block, self-doubt, imposter syndrome, etc. And I think that's completely normal. I mean, unless you're Stephen King and you've written God knows how many books, you're gonna confront those feelings of inadequacy. And honestly, I've never met him and I can't speak for him, but probably even Stephen King feels that way sometimes. So I think it's important that you make a deal with yourself that no matter what, you're going to finish this first draft, no matter how bad you think it is, no matter how much you just wanna give up, you just tell yourself that you're going to finish the first draft at the very least and then if you still want to give up, you can. So the last thing is I've gone ahead and ordered a book about writing from a very famous author. So 
a lot of what I was reading was saying that it can be really helpful to hear the perspective of a successful writer on the technique of writing books. And so I went ahead and ordered On Writing, A Memoir of the Craft by Stephen King. So that's why he was in my example earlier because he was just the first one that came to mind. But I think he would have some pretty valuable things to say about writing. Obviously, he's not the best writer out there and he's not the only writer out there, but I actually had a hard time finding well-reviewed books on writing by authors. I decided to start with this one. So I will be reading that in the next week and in episode two next week, I will give you an update on some of the insights and things I learned from reading that. So I would like to end this video with a few disclaimers. So I am not a professional. I am a college student. I am 20 years old. I did study English literature for my first three semesters and then my degree changed to marketing, but I am still studying English literature as a minor. I am a huge bookworm, I read avidly, and I do have a bit of experience in writing. Um, in my years in high school, I did write a book. It wasn't, I never finished it, it wasn't a full book, but it was probably 25,000 words. And honestly, reading it back, I'm pretty pleased with how I was conveying things and the skill I was using, especially considering that that was four years ago now. But I do feel that that draft has kind of, at the end of its life, I feel that the plot is a bit immature given that I was a bit immature at the time. So I do want to start fresh with a different story idea, but I do have a bit of experience in amateur writing. Obviously that was just something I was doing for fun. And lastly, I will say I am not planning to have this novel published at all. The end goal of these 14 weeks is just to have a finished first draft manuscript. I mean, it won't, I will do some editing and revising so it won't be like completely rough first draft, but it's not going to be something that's even remotely ready to send to a publisher. And even if it was, I'm not sure I want to. I'm not in a season of my life where I'm looking to get something published. This is more a fun challenge for myself. I really want to stretch my creative legs and I just really thought it would be a fun journey to share with others online. I've seen on Book Talk and Bookstagram a lot of other people interested in trying their hand at writing, and I think it would be really fun. So if any of you, you know, having watched this video are interested in joining me, you absolutely should. I will be sharing, you know, as much as I can each week on here for the next 14 weeks, and I just want to reiterate that this is honestly for fun. I'm not taking it too seriously and I just think it will be a great way to expand my knowledge and really see what I can do. So this is the intro to the series. I'm writing a book which will be a 14 episode series on YouTube. Our first video will start next week and they will be fairly vlog style updating you each day as I'm writing and the struggles I am facing. And I really look forward to having you all along with me for the journey. I hope you find some enjoyment of this series. It will definitely be one of those, I don't know, like satisfying things to see come together in the end. And I have no doubt that it will push me quite far. So hopefully you all enjoyed and thank you so much for being here. I will see you next Sunday for episode two of I'm writing a book.